Hello, I'm Andrew from Seoul Law Group, and we are an English-speaking law firm based in Seoul, South Korea. We're back with another law video today, and we'll cover everything you need to know about getting a permanent F5 visa in Korea. If you are looking to gain permanent residency in Korea, then the F5 visa is the best way to do so. But there are numerous steps and requirements to get there. What is an F5 visa? The F5 visa is a permanent residency visa for South Korea. There are numerous benefits to acquiring an F5 visa. You can live permanently in Korea as long as you renew your visa every 10 years. It is easier to acquire Korean citizenship if you want. You will not be deported unless you commit a serious crime such as murder, rape, robbery, child abduction, illegal drugs, etc. You can get health insurance benefits and join the National Pension Service in Korea. After obtaining the F5 visa, all visa holders are required to visit Korea once every two years in order to maintain their residency status. You are also required to renew the visa every 10 years. There are numerous ways to obtain an F5 visa. You can find the full overview of the 21 different ways on our website. Link is in the description box below. Basic requirements for F5 visa. The basic requirements to obtain an F5 visa can be divided into four categories. Residence, income slash assets, basic knowledge, and good conduct. Residence. You should have been living in Korea for at least five years. Income slash assets. You should be able to make a living relying on the income and assets of you and your family. Basic knowledge. You should have the basic knowledge necessary to continuously live as a national of Korea, such as Korean language cap capability and the understanding of Korean society and culture. Good conduct. You should obey the law of Korea. If you fall under one of the following categories, you're not eligible to apply for the F5 visa. Again, you can find more details about each of these categories on our website. Now, let's have a closer look at the investment type visas as they are very often overlooked. Immigrant Investment Scheme for Public Businesses The Immigrant Investment Scheme, Tuja Iminje, is a Korean government program that gives F2 residential status to a foreigner who has visited, invested under the supervision of the Ministry of Justice. After five years of investing, the foreigner can apply for the F5 visa to get permanent residency. As an investor in a public business, there will be more leniency when determining your eligibility for a permanent resident visa. If you invest 500 million Korean won, which is 450,000 US dollars or more, 300 million Korean won if you're age 55 or older and have financial assets worth 300 million Korean won in public investment products of the Ministry of Justice, you're eligible to obtain F2 residential status. Obtaining this status offers more economic freedom and is a pathway to obtaining an F5 visa after five years as an F2 resident. There are various options for investment plans. Please refer to the following information. Real estate investor, F5-17. The real estate investor is a type of F5 visa that requires the applicant to have invested for more than five years as a real estate investor at the time of application. If the investment requirement is lost, the period of maintaining the investment status is calculated by adding up the previous holding period from the point when the investment requirement was recovered. The spouse or unmarried children of a real estate investor is also eligible to apply, but must have been the spouse or unmarried child for five years or more and must also already be a permanent resident. In the case of an unmarried child, the applicant's parent must be a permanent resident in order to apply. Public Business Risk-Based Investment Option, F521. There are numerous options for a risk-based investment plan when applying for the F5 visa. Foreign investors are expected to make an investment in projects carried out in less developed regions as designated by the Ministry of Justice. As this is a risk-based investment, the investor may either make or lose profits. Development promotion regions in underdeveloped areas fall under the Special Act 
on the promotion of development investments in underdeveloped areas. These regions include Yeongju, Andong, and Yechan. Tourism leisure style enterprise cities fall under the special acts on the development of enterprise cities. These cities include Taean, Yeongam, and Henam. Public Business Guaranteed Investment Option, F521. The Public Business Immigrant Investor Fund, also referred to as a public fund, is one type of investment scheme to help secure your F5 visa. Foreign investors deposit funding in which the Korean Development Bank operates, and the investment pr principal is returned after five years. Despite the fund having the potential to not make any profit, it offers zero risk as it protects your principal investment amount with a guaranteed return. Immigration Lawyer We understand that applying for a visa in Korea can be a long and stressful journey. While the Immigration Office is there to help, the lack of personal interaction provided can make the process more convoluted than it needs to be. This is where our lawyers come in. The Seoul Law Group always promises to give both you and your visa application the proper care to guarantee the success of your application. Visa rejection due to missing documents is a waste of valuable time. Seoul Law Group's lawyers will easily guide you through the process and minimize any room for error. Well, I hope this video was useful for you. If you have any questions or concerns about getting an F5 visa or the investment visa, let us know in the comment section below and you can find more information on soullawgroup.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell for more Korean law videos. And we hope to see you next time. Bye.